goal of life number five obstacles to the goal material life or spiritual life requires same discipline the difference is material life or gain goes in this direction to gain wealth fame power all this requires discipline spiritual discipline is going upward it requires a similar discipline only thing is you change the goal instead of world or possession to be your goal keep self realization is the goal that is the only difference there are many obstacles to spiritual life obstacles to material goal obstacles to spiritual goal obstacles to meditation yogi patanjali describes some of the obstacles about 200 years bc he describes some of the obstacles some of the obstacles were more for primary stage of meditation and other obstacles were at higher stage of meditation these days most people are not even at the primary stage of meditation so i simplified those obstacles in this book personal to global transformation obstacles are similar similar what was then thousands of years ago or now in one culture or another culture in prosperity or hardship goals remain the same obstacles remain the same first obstacle is lacking the clarity of purpose and desire i am just reading some short main highlights lacking the clarity and purpose and desire so you don't accomplish goal unless you have clarity what you want you have strong desires you have love for it you have urgency for it you have intensity for it and you dedicate your life maintain it sustain it with patience sustain enthusiasm these are all requirement for succeeding so obstacle is not having clarity mind is wandering with too many goals you need to focus and clearly only one primary goal all others become secondary goal that helps the primary goal not being willing not being willing to sacrifice some time and comforts for the goal so people want to accomplish goal i want to be successful i want to make up make lots of money i cannot wake up in the morning i don't do, don't want to work on the weekends i need this time off these are not the sacrifices you need to sacrifice something one major one one which was patanjali described is laziness and lethargy who doesn't want to move one doesn't want to change patanjali describes even three kind of laziness you know dullness procrastination all kind of different laziness so really is the main cause and main hindrance lacking enthusiasm and love for the practice if you don't have enthusiasm you get excited about something and then you forget about the goal and this i have seen is more common than ever before we are in the age of information we were bombarded with so much information most people cannot handle it they get confused and they cannot sustain clarity or enthusiasm lacking humility and openness to listen to a master or teachings we have to be open because we have to experiment you cannot blindly go 
into one business it you don't succeed evaluate try for 6 months 1 year 2 years if you don't succeed change the business change the location change the products we have to change we have to listen we have to observe we have to listen to the expert in spiritual life you should go to a master and get guidance what to do and to follow waiting to become perfect instead of making a practice a systematic learning process this is also very common people get frustrated they start yoga and in one month they want to be very flexible they start meditation they want to quiet the mind in a short time <clears throat> they go in the business they want to start making profit from the very beginning in the beginning you have to invest you have to wait you cannot just plant the seeds and then wait for the plant to come up it takes time again different plants take different time some plants are short bring fruit quickly some plants become trees over years some of them give no fruit some give sweet fruit some sour fruit some give fruit which are useless so life is like that so we have to have patience instead of trying to be perfect people who try to be perfect feel tremendous stress because when you are perfect you expect your coworkers also to be perfect and you get frustrated so guidance is you do everything perfectly but expect no perfection from anyone so you won't disturb your peace and then lacking patience and perseverance and this is very common today people don't have patience they start new thing keep up with it for a month or two they forget about it they do another thing keep up with it and then forget about it it is like digging many many holes to find water wise thing is to use common sense use the scientific research where is a low water table so you may have success in finding water once you find the spot you dig in the same spot until you find water digging holes all over only up to few feet you won't get find the water so patience is necessary perseverance is necessary especially in spiritual practice perseverance perseverance, perseverance is necessary because in physical practices you can find improvement you can notice your muscle strength you can notice your flexibility in financial world you can see profit and loss you can see all those visible things but in the spiritual field the progress is very abstract very subtle even if you are progressing you cannot see it so you need to maintain patience and perseverance as if this is the only goal in life otherwise you won't be able to keep up with the practice the society is so much program into quick fix quick results so that all the businesses all the commercials are based upon immediate thing immediate weight loss immediate meditation immediate enlightenment and people pay lots of money same thing suppose i can teach in a fraction of the cost they won't accept it because they go for high price and something highly advertised because they are looking for instant enlightenment instant success there is no such thing if anything comes instantly it will also go instantly also think who are the people who are offering 
instant success. Look at their life. See if they are successful. People follow those who commercially advertise, but they don't see. They are not successful themselves in their life. Spiritual messages. Go to a spiritual master who has it. Receive guidance from that master. Not from someone there is so much publicity, so many promises, so much gimmicks, so expensive. These are not the rules. So really, <coughs> obstacles are so many. Outside obstacles would be, there is noise, there is this, that, that environment is not conducive, your family members are not conducive. But real conditions are internal conditions. So if we want to succeed, remove all the obstacles mostly created by our own mind. Jai Bhagavan.